Cheer up, Jim. You're going to put my punters off the rail. <sighs> Sorry, Lindsay. It's just my co-presenter for the kite show. I mean, her band's doing really well now, and I think she might not have time for the kite show anymore, but we could have had it all. Don't worry. The Christmas spirit moves in mysterious ways. Look who's here. Oh, Jim! I just had this sudden weird urge to walk in here. How's it going? Right. What so, What are you looking at here? Oh, it's Sunless's new band. Oh, they're doing really well. Oh, energetic electro pop. That's really fashionable right now. Mm, yeah, right. So, I mean, she's doing really well. I think I might might need some help presenting. Do you know what, Jim? I can give you a hand. No oh, problems. Oh, brilliant. I really appreciate that, Lewis. Well, I mean, how hard can it be? It's a bit harder than it looks, Lewis. I mean, but don't worry, I'll, I'll talk you through it. Lindsay, part of your finest Christmas ale, please. He's three-time BKSA champion. He's the original peer jumper. He's the man that touched the sky. And he's the current Lenten Megaloop champion. Lewis Cradden guests host the Christmas special. The riding levels have continued to go through the roof this year and the resulting videos have been pumping out. We round up the best of them in the 2012 Top 10 Countdown. World champions have been crowned. Bow down as we present them to you in the news. We announced the winner of the Cabrina Subwoofer and launched the best profanity wake style board competition. And we close the show with the Kite Show's own special action compilation featuring clips from the sport's top riders. So Lewis, thanks for joining us. Uh, Christmas special, feeling festive? Not really mate, it's uh, the end of November. Oh. But Lewis, I said, you know, this presenting's not as easy as it, as it was made out to be. Let's try that again. Lewis, Merry Christmas. Oh, happy Christmas, Jim. I, uh, oh. I did actually get you a little something. Oh, Christmas. Did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't, really wasn't expecting this, but... Well, Jim, I always look after you. Nice paper, Lewis. It's all right. Get hold of this in November. <laughs> Right. Oh, look at that. You're going to look great. Oh, look at that. It's only a best t-shirt. I mean, how did you know that's just what I wanted for Christmas, look? Well, do you know what, Jim? I thought you needed to be uh, styling it a bit more, so got you one of these. You're going to be the talk of the town. Thanks, Lewis. So, Lewis, you're obviously known for your massive aerial antics. You've got exquisite kite control. Um, but good news, you've just been signed to Best International. Um, obviously with that comes some new gear as well. Has it taken you a little while to get used to it or has it been pretty quick? Well, with, with any new gear it takes some time to adjust, but I'd say I, I was dialed in after, after a couple of weeks really. I'm, I'm really happy with the GP. Uh, really importantly to me, the kite loop's low in the window mm -hmm. and contains lots of power around, around through the mega loop. Yeah. And the profanity is superb. I really like that board. It's obviously a wake style board, but yeah. I'm finding some good use for it out in strong conditions as well. Good. We've had some howling days last couple of days, some good autumn conditions. You've been out much? It's, it's been amazing. Yeah. I had a super day yesterday, you yeah. know, across, almost cross off actually. Yeah. I was out on the waves and I think it's in again today, but, but yeah. these are my favourite times of the yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Some good practice for, are you heading out to Cape Town again this year? Certainly, yeah. I'll be out in Cape Town from uh, January the 1st and okay. uh, I can't think of anywhere else to go every year, I love it. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? And uh, the best team also spend a lot of time out there as well. I mean, they've got an amazing freestyle team that they're developing at the minute. I mean, they've got, obviously got yourself, Gisela, Yuri's joined as well, um, and the designers, Peter and Geordie, are usually over in Cape Town. Are you looking forward to getting involved in some R&D and seeing I, those guys I, out there? I can't wait. I mean, let's not forget Shitsi and Sam as well. They're yeah, big yeah. key parts of the yeah. team, but it's really nice as a rider. What you want is a nice, strong team around you to, to push yourself. And something which is really awesome with, with me joining Bess is mm -hmm. that I can get hands on with the gear. I can help with my knowledge of yeah. kites and, and what I like and put yeah. that into some of the products. I, th I think it's brilliant that they're all out there. It is, it's the right time of year to mm. be doing that. Yeah, ideal. I mean, obviously while you're out there, you won't be doing your school's work that you do. You do a lot of work in schools promoting uh, wind awareness and, and energy and things like that. Can you tell people what that's all about? It's well, really I, I actually want to get some stuff going on out there oh, this year. I think it's time to maybe try and get some schools out there. But I've found in, in my past that uh, kite surfing is, is a great tool to teach kids about green energy, staying yeah. healthy, that sort of thing. And, and I find it's really good. It's good fun. Kids love it. Yeah. When you put a kite in their hands, they understand 
with the power of the wind. So, exactly what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I mean, yeah. one of the great things with joining Best is that they're really keen to support this grassroots, and that's one of my major decisions to join Best is that they want to support that. And, yeah. and in general, the amount of support they're giving me is just mind blowing. Cool, sounds really good. You ready to get into these 2012 videos? Right, let's go then. Right, here's your top 10 videos of 2012. Right, these are in no particular order, but please do go and vote for your favourite on the Facebook fan page. First up, we've got the Free Ride Project, an immense wake style video, proper DVD style production. This is the UK crew throwing it down in one of the tightest wake style videos of the year. And next, Island Time, what more can we say? I mean, hundreds of thousands of hits, Dre, Sam, Jake Kelsick, boom. Top birds. Next it's Alex Pasta, Suit Days. Alex is one of them guys that makes things look easy. Weight style boots, wet suit, no shorts, take note. Right, up next is uh, what we believe is, is one of our favourite uh, riders of the year, Kiahi Diaboites um, and his video Hawaii Sessions. Um, this guy has done so much for freestyle uh, strapless kiting this year. What do you think, Lewis? I think this guy's doing things which are ridiculous, to be honest with you. As a wake styler, I find what he's doing amazing and I think it's a real credit to kite surfing, the uniqueness of the sport. Yeah. And when he dropped this video, it dropped Jaws, so check this out. Up next, a video from Karolina Winkowska. It's definitely feminine, but it isn't girly. It's got loads of attitude. What do you think, Lewis? I'm a big fan of Karolina's. I think she's one of the most powerful kite surfers, females out there. Mm. And I really like in her videos that she makes it look fun and she, and she shows what kite surfing's all about. Yeah, yeah, she definitely rips. Check this video out. Right next, it's Hannah Whiteley's Lost on an Island. This video got tens of thousands of hits straight away. There's a couple of big bangers in this one. This next video from Remy really makes you as a kite surfer want to go out and ride on the snow. I really like the soundtrack as well. Yeah, Remy always produces. Check it out. Well, maybe if you stay off my nuts and get your hustle on, you can get out your butt. Time is precious, you suspended in mind. It's like your clock is broken, it just won't wind. 
I can't explain how I rip these lines And I'm blessed with the skill of bring it straight from the mind Every rapper's cocky, y'all, it ain't just me So don't hate me, hate them cause they not me Cops took shots like But no one can stop me If the bullets couldn't do it, you could never Keep my name on your lips and I will live forever Every kite surfer loves the idea of riding an undiscovered and an uncrowded spot. This next video is brilliant. It's really easy to forget that this is supposed to be in a product shoot. Yep, shot by Elliot LeBeau, whole Cabrina team. It was always going to be on the money. It is unbelievably good and you're only sharing it with the friends that you brought along. Just heaven. Rio, Kiahi, Barrels, done. And then rounding out the top 10, we got Tapping and Rolling, a collaboration between two of the sport's top wake style filmers and editors. Featuring some action from the Triple S, James and Nate are making some of the best videos out there. This video is top notch. Ruben used to do this thing every single morning. It was uh, it was loud enough I could hear it through the walls, but oh, really? it's a bit disturbing. But oh, uh, it's not nice, is it? Oh, oh excuse me, Miss Lewis. Just got a phone call. Oh, oh and Elise. Jim, darling, how have you been? How's it going? I thought you'd moved on. Yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm just here recording the album. I'm in between takes. I've got a bit of time, and I'm wondering, do you need some help with the news? Really? Wow, brilliant. Of course you can. Yeah. This Christmas special is really coming together. Wonderful, sweetie. It's all yours, over to you. Okay, bye, bye. Right, first up, let's start with a PKRA World Freestyle Tour, which finished in the most exciting ways in both the men's and women's events. Going into the last two events in China, and then just a few days later in New Caledonia, last year's champion Yuri Zun from Holland and two-time runner-up Alex Pastor from Spain were locked on the same points. The fierce competition didn't let up, with Yuri taking the event win in China, Alex then winning the single elimination in New Caledonia, and then Yuri taking the win in the double elimination elimination super final by just 0.2 of a point. Incredible stuff. Italian Alberto Rondina, who had an incredibly consistent year, including stomping the first Moby Dick 5 in a competition in China, picked up third spot. 
The women's was tight in three ways, between Gisela Polido from Spain, Bruna Cahia from Brazil, both recent champions, and high-class performer but yet to clinch a title, Karolina Winkowska from Poland, who was the dark horse. It was the pole, though, who kept it tight right through the New Caledonia event and claimed her first world championship. Bruna took second, with last year's champion Gisela finishing third. I was like, okay, I'm done with losing. I don't want to lose anymore. And luckily, I won three last events and the world title. Here are the final PKRA 2012 freestyle standings. In a topsy-turvy year for racing, we went from being regarded as an exciting new form of race sailing and beating everything round a course, to a high-performance Olympic class ready to show the world our potential, to being relegated from the Olympic high chair and feeling like we've been told to sit on the naughty step through no real fault of our own. This year's PKRA champions were Brian Lake and Katya Rosa, and IKA world champions were the Heineken siblings John and Erica. John in particular having again been a dominant force in the racing world, taking 12 bullets in the worlds and then winning the gold medal race. The stage was set for the final at the legendary wave spot of Hokeeper on Maui's North Shore in early December. Kiters aren't usually allowed to ride there, only adding to the atmosphere, which became a nervy one in the first several days during a stop-start event with a very unusual run of conditions for Maui. The final day produced classic conditions, but also upsets in the rankings. The men's ladder was already tight, with only one event result all season. And when seeds 2, 3 and 4 were now in the shape of 2011 champion Ayrton Cozzolino, Sebastian Ribeiro and Luke McGillowy, it threw the title race wide open. Brazilians Gilly Brandao and Felipe Ferreira were defeated in the semis by Keahe de Aboites and Mitu Montero, who would battle it out in fantastic conditions in the final. The lead swung back and forth until the young Australian Ripper Keahi took the event win and the tour title over the Cape Verdean Mitu. I came into this comp thinking that I probably had a, a good chance or a good chance of anybody to win it and super stoked that everything kind of fell my way with the, the actual whole world tour standings and couldn't be happier, everything fell into place and yeah, I'm stoked. Muna White is a young charger from the Hawaiian islands of Oahu and she made a real name for herself at her first World Tour event, taking the win here. Um, pretty honoured to be with all the best girls in the world basically and yeah, I'm surprised I made it so far. <laughs> Yalu. Langery also made it to the final and had already done enough to seal the deal on her first title, riding consistently throughout her first full KSB season. Yeah, I'm super stoked to get that title and it's my first title ever, first year on tour and being world champion 2012. It's like, I don't have any words for that. Here's how the final 2012 standings look. Hello, I'm Kai. I'm from Kai Surfer Thailand Association. Right, today the wind it start, it blow up. It looks like the season is actually start up. And uh, everyone go out, get happy. And it's make sure he's ready for the next KTA in uh, Indonesia. Also, the meanwhile, uh, he has come uh, round up the last season. The Kiteboard Tour Asia was launched in 2009. The last 2011-12 season included four stops around the region, featuring Boracay in the Philippines, Muine Beach in Vietnam, Pramburi in Thailand and Pintang Island in China. All served up some good conditions for the three disciplines that were contested in both Asian and International Open categories. Here's how the top three riders in each category finished up last season. The 2013 tour begins on February 20th at Bintan Island in Indonesia and will move on to Thailand, the Philippines and China. Try and catch some of it if you can and keep up with the action at www.kiteboardtour.asia.
So last episode we ran a competition with Cabrina to win their subwoofer surfboard. Uh, the question was, what size is the subwoofer available in? The answer is of course 5'8". And the winner is Matt Jatsko from Austria. So well done to you, hope you enjoy your stick when you get it. Now to introduce uh, this episode's competition is Lewis uh, with details of the profanity. This is best wake style board, the profanity, but what is their freestyle sea kite called? Tricky question, but answers as usual at the episode 8 section on the Kite Show Facebook fan page. Nice pistol, mine is chrome. Where I get this wrist full of shiny stones? But right in these live books, rhymes and poems. Swollen is back to reclaim the throne. And finally, we've got a special Christmas treat for you. We've got the best riders in the world who submitted their best tricks from this year. So here we go, let's get into it. Cool, what a Christmas cracker. Oh, isn't it? Yeah.
day, Lewis. Really helped me out there. Really appreciate it. No problem, mate. So where do we go now? Well, what we've got to do now is we've just got to thank Best for being uh, episode sponsors. We really appreciate their help. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I can't believe how well the Christmas specials come together. It really does go to show that, you know, at this time of year, your dreams can come true. Merry Christmas, Lewis. Merry Christmas, Jim. Look, this, this Broadway crap pays more, yeah? I'm itching to get out.